Okay. We're going to do this lesson today, and it's a lesson that I had assigned students that wanted to participate on in Facebook. And the activity says, one word can generate a story of 100 plus words. Add your word below and watch our story grow within the next 48 hours. And this is an excellent activity for English exam. Okay. So the article will start out with one word. So then I had one student to participate. And the first student added his first word. He added the word precaution. Okay. Another student added the word believe. And another student added the word suspense. Mm -hmm. All right. So from there, I created their story. Okay. And let's see, where is the longer story that I created for the students? Okay, and here's the longer story. I'll make it larger. It's yours will create the story or the student the student well i know i created the story and then one student after seeing my story he wrote his own um how am i making this smaller okay so uh, now there's Okay, so this is my student story. This is the student story. Okay. I don't. I don't usually drink at home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to make it bigger. No, it was, no, it was good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Um, is this good? Can you see it? Uh. Up to to too big. Okay, okay, now. Good. good. All right. Perfect. I don't usually drink at home. Mm -hmm. You may read it. Okay. Open air, magnificent, magnificent place. It's better to contemplate sight and drink a bottle of beer with a gulp slowly. Uh, on a day of such days, I was drunk, but it was already night. I didn't think to come back home. Day was yet ahead. Somehow I found a friend. We often aspire to talk to someone when we get drunk. Unfortunately, I didn't encounter a safe man. He's about 18 years old and slim and uneducated. He only told about underground world, knives, blood, dark men. The boy asked for a cigarette. I gave it and lighted another one for myself. He went on to converse. Then it, it took out of your pocket a small revolver and commanded me, out all your money, quick. I was stunned but I couldn't obey at all. I had to take precaution in advance, but the drink enabled to perceive. In the meantime, it appeared his fellows. They jumped upon me and started out to eat. I hardly rescued myself, and then I called police. Always right. dangerous to be drunk. <laughs> yeah. So the word that he was looking for to use the word he chose to use was precaution. His story yes. is built around the word precaution. Now, he gave me the word precaution first, and I started the story. After he saw how the story was to go, he created this story on his own, okay? He created this story on his own. The other students, did not create a story they just gave me a two words 
and the two words that were given were believe and suspense. Mm -hmm. So now we have a total of three words. I responded to the students, Farid, Malik, and this person, along with the one who wrote the other story. So here is their new story. Okay. It's your, it's your answer. This is, yes, this is my making the story clearer. Okay. Oh, yes. Could you read for me? Uh, do you record? Oh, I think so. Yes, I am. Yes. Uh, it was just 6 a.m. It was just 6 in the morning when the loud sound entered into my ear. I was startled for a moment and the suspense was so great. I twisted the covers from my bed and sprang to my feet. It was then that I realized it was only a storm. In an hour, it would be time for me to get up from my bed. I always prepare breakfast for my small family on Saturday mornings. I decided to get up and have a early breakfast as sleep was eluding me. As I walked downstairs, I noticed a tree had fallen onto the house and shattered the front window pane. I knew my spouse and children would be up soon. It was a good thing I was awoken by the storm. No, I will take precaution that no one is injured from stepping on the broken glass. I was amazed to see the amount of damage outside as I pick it through the wonder through the broken window pane. I believe I will also have my to suspend my jogging today due to the debris that is all over the street. Oh, perhaps it could be arrived tomorrow. <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right. So there is the article. Did you understand what this article is about? Yes. In the in in general, yes. Not perhaps in detail, but in general, yes. Okay. In general, what is this article about? Uh, you. You were, you were in uh, your house and you sleep very well. And during the night, you heard a big noise. Mm -hmm. You get up, toss the sheet from your bed. Mm -hmm. And when you arrive in the, in the main room of your house, you see that uh, the, glass the glass were broken and there was a lot of glass shattered all around the, the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. on the floor. So you see that a big tree was uh, has fallen on the on the house because of the storm outside. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, uh, all the people in the house were not awake by the storm, and you quickly sweep 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 off the glass from the glo the floor mm -hmm. so when they get up when they work they when they were awake they couldn't be injured by the glass very good all right so you're having a little difficulty with your ed words it's tossed tossed it has the ending of a t sound mm -hmm. okay tossed mm -hmm. walked Walked, walked, and walked. the S, and I didn't hear the S on downstairs. Mm -hmm. Can you say downstairs? Downstairs. Okay, outside. Outside. Out, out. Out, outside. Mm -hmm. And peeked. peeked. I peeked. I peeked through I, the broken window. Very good. I peeked through the broken window pane. All right, now. Remember the student wrote the article that you read first. Now let's take a look at his revised article. To be 
Let's see. Where is the corrected one? I'm going to stop the recording while I'm looking for it. Remember, you read the students writing about being in the bar and he was robbed. Someone yes. asked him for a cigarette. So I rewrote, I rewrote his story. Okay. Okay. Now, if you'll start to read here, I don't usually drink. I don't usually drink at home because being in the open air is the most magnificent place to be. While sitting in the open air, I can better contemplate my surroundings while drinking a bottle of beer without gulping in a hurry manner. In a hurried manner. Good. Mm -hmm. On days such as this, I may find myself getting drunk with the atmosphere and the beer. However, I have never reached the level of intoxication. Good for you. I always know that tomorrow will come and I will have mature responsibilities at home. Once while drinking heavily, I attempted to make friends and began speaking to everyone. Somehow, I found a friend of someone or someone to speak with quite easily. Unfortunately, on this occasion, I didn't encounter a safe man. He was about 18 years old, slim frame and uneducated. He was quite knowledgeable about the underground world, knives, blood, dark men and violence. I remember he asked me for a cigarette. I had a few cigarettes left in my pack and I pulled out my lighter and gave him a cigarette and a light. In fact, I lit a cigarette for myself as well. The man, whose name I never knew, continued to engage in small talk. To my surprise, the man retrieved a revolver from his coat pocket and demanded your money or your life, quick. Was, I was frightened, of course, but I had no money left. I couldn't obey because I had nothing to obey with. Looking stern, I stunned. I thought that I could do. I, I thought, thought what? I thought what I could do. What precaution could I take? The only resolve I had was to make the beating that surely came my way. That was to take the beating that surely came my way. I don't understand this phrase. Okay, take the beating. If he didn't have any money, he was going to be beat up by the person, by the young man. The young man was going to beat him. So the beating came his way. Oh, he was sure that the beating will come. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, my drunken stupor enabled me to endure the pain. As the man left me beaten and broken, I got rid of my wits and, and was able to call the police. Oh my God, <laughs> bad experience. Right. So what I was hoping to share the student is to make his story more vivid and imaginable. I use a lot of description so that you could see as he reached in his pocket to get a cigarette. You could see him offering the young man the cigarette and even lighting the cigarette for him. While he was in the bar, he really wanted to talk with someone. So he engaged in conversation with the stranger. However, this stranger turned out to be a very bad person. Okay, okay, I understand. Oh. Okay. It's dangerous to be drunk at night in the street. <laughs> yes, it's, it's very, very dangerous. But fortunately, because he was heavily drunk, 
he didn't feel the pain of the beating as much because he was too drunk to realize he was hurt, I think. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. I understand that uh, because he was so drunk, he couldn't feel the heat mm -hmm. uh, strongly in his head, in his arms, and uh, he could endure the, the pain. Very good. He, he was, was anesthetized, no? Yes, he was anesthetized. He was anesthetized by the, by the alcohol. By the alcohol. Very good. So this is one activity that I think is useful for my students if they would take the opportunity to just try. I like it when they do try because they realize that there's a lot within themselves that they can do if they try. And, uh, yes, it's an excellent exercise. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording now. I'm going to just talk for a moment. Yes.